Hello everyone, how's it going? So today I'm going to be bringing you guys a full guide on how to stake with Milk Tia in order to potentially qualify for the future Milk Tia airdrop. So let's just get right into it. So what is Milk Tia? So it's basically a liquid restaking token. So what that essentially means is that you stake Tia and in return you get another token called Milk Tia and with that, you could use different DeFi applications inside of the Celestia ecosystem in order to earn yield. So other than that random, I guess not random fact, but pretty important fact of information, and I at least know what, what you're doing, but let's just get right into it. So first, um, what you're gonna need is obviously Kepler Wallet. If you don't already have one, just download one. It's really quick. And we're gonna need the Osmo, osmosis chain, right? As you can see here, this is our wallet. So all, all you need to do is get some osmosis into your wallet. Now there's a couple ways you could go about doing this. The way I personally did it was I bought some osmosis on a centralized exchange and I just withdrew mine over to my Kepler wallet and it was essentially really uh, inexpensive. It was only like, what two dollars in fees for me so that was a good way for me additionally though you can um just bridge over funds to osmosis using something like portal bridge their native bridge or you could bridge over to like tia and then you could uh do an ibc transfer over to osmosis and how you do that real quick is say if you deposit it into here and there'll be a number like however much is on the native chain or whatever chain you have you just withdraw and you move it over like it's it, it'll show it's pretty simple but once you have osmosis on there you want to go to this uh dap which is the osmosis zone so we could swap so all you're going to do is you're going to connect your kepler wallet here and you should have your osmosis always remember to leave at least a little bit of osmosis for uh, gas fees you don't want to use your entire amounts obviously uh, and we're just going to switch over to tia here so personally i'm going to be doing 74 osmosis over to tia now we have our tia but our tia is currently osmosis and we need it over to celestia so all we're going to do here as you can see what i'm talking about earlier is it just automatically recognizes whichever wallet you have in kepler and I'm just gonna withdraw my TIA to the Celestia network. And this is the IBC transfer I was talking about earlier as well. Cool, so after we've done that, we're going to go to the Milky Way application, connect our wallet here, and it may take a second for it to appear, just refresh a couple times, but as you can see here, we have six point, okay, that's a crazy number to have available, but we're just gonna use most of this TIA, obviously save some for gas fees. Um, it also, if you want, while you're doing this, if you want to distribute like a bigger bag essentially, and just stake natively with TIA, you could do that too. So you could stake with milk TIA and, um, and uh, just natively on Kepler through the Kepler wallet. Uh, but what I did personally was Milk Tia is 30% of my Tia bag, whereas the staking itself with all the other delegators is 70%. But other than that, all we're going to do here is press stake. So after your transaction confirms, you'll see that you have some Milk Tia right here. And now you're actually able to use this in the ecosystem. But you will accrue points for however much milk tea you have. Um, as you can see, this is exactly how it works. You get points like daily, and it'll start showing up here, I think like every day. Because yeah, this was last updated yesterday, so I'm assuming every day. But to actually use your milk tea on, for example, we could use DMX here. Uh, you go to the Nitron tab, and you search up um, milk tea. Oops, if I could spell. There we go. And as you can see, milk tea is right here. We could deposit some. We want to deposit. And I'm going to be depositing my entire amount. This does get sent over. 
Oh, by the way, your milk tea is on osmosis. So I know we just transferred to uh, Celestia, but it gets moved back to osmosis. And now we're going to move it to the carbon blockchain. So we're just going to deposit here. And what you could also do here is you could uh, use a different token in order to pay for gas. And also I recommend using high, at least for this one, because I've heard of transactions taking a little long to do this. So we're just going to do it real quick. We'll do a higher gas fee. Now, after that transaction, what you should see in your Kepler wallet is uh, your milk tea is now on carbon. It was on osmosis before, but now it is on carbon. And if this isn't showing up for you, what you need to do is press right here, man manage chain visibility. And you're gonna just wanna type in carbon, add the chain if it's not showing up. And then over here we go back and now we have a balance here. And we're gonna want to go to our milk tea here and um, we're gonna want to lend say I can lend max okay so it looks like before the vaults were uh, capped but now they it look it appears that the vaults aren't capped so sometimes because of how high the demand is the vaults are actually capped at a certain amount of milk Tia actually I think it says right there oh I can't see it right now but the vaults are capped at a certain amount. So if you do end up watching this and it's capped and it doesn't let you put in like you, the amount of milk tea you want, just actively go on the DMX Twitter account to see when they do end up putting uh, more into their vaults. So it says my lend was a success. So that's all good. And that's all we really need to do. What you could also do is you could borrow against your assets but I personally don't recommend this. I only recommend that when you're doing stable coins because it doesn't move. So you're, you won't necessarily get liquidated in, in a sense. Whereas like if the price ends up going down, then your milk tea could get liquidated and then you lose all of that. So it's like, personally, I wouldn't recommend it, but we do end up qualifying for the DMX airdrop here, hopefully because we are putting in some value into their protocol. And yeah, that's pretty much it. If you guys have any questions at all, please leave it in the comments. I know it may be a bit confusing with all the chain swapping or whatever. And also, I would just like to say a massive thank you. We're up to like 80 subscribers now, so I generally really appreciate it. And I'm glad people are actually finding some value in my videos. So I'm going to just continue to make videos. I mean, obviously, I want to uh, give all this information out if I can and help you guys out. Oh, obviously, though, this is not financial advice. I mean, I'm just in college. This is a dorm room. So, yeah, but that just goes to show anyone could really do crypto. So, yeah, and anyone, anyone could possibly qualify. So that's it for today, and have a good one, guys.